We introduced Robito, an 88 mg insect size autonomous crawling robot powered by the catalytic combustion of methanol. The specific energy of batteries is much lower than that of animal fat and fuels like methanol. Therefore, almost all the subram mobile robots powered by electricity rely on external sources for sustained operation. This issue motivated us to develop a novel microactuation technology based on the use of controllable chemically powered artificial muscles. This solution enabled the creation of Robito with a weight and size comparable to that of a real insect. In our approach, two technological concepts are combined, a catalytic micromuscle and an integrated millimeter scale mechanical control mechanism. The catalytic artificial muscle is a nitinal wire coated with a layer of platinum catalyst. The platinum facilitates the catalytic combustion of methanol. The released thermal energy is directly used to heat up the wire. The wire contracts due to the shape memory effect associated with the nitinal material. When the fuel supply is stopped, the wire cools down and extends to its original length. Periodic actuation is generated by repeating this process. We coated a thin nitinal wire with a dense layer of platinum powder particles in order to create a highly active surface for catalytic combustion. The obtained composite wires generate reliable and controllable actuation for microrobotic applications. The mechanical control mechanism is the second key innovation of the system. When periodically excited with methanol vapor, the mechanism oscillates autonomously between two states. Through tethered experiments, we determine a design that allows the artificial muscle to operate in the desired temperature range for efficient actuation. To assess its local motion performance, we performed a series of experiments on Robito, including crawling under different atmospheric conditions, climbing ramps, and crawling on surfaces with different levels of roughness. Robito has a maximum payload of 2.6 times its own body weight, so it can complete different tasks by carrying various onboard electronics. For example, entering an electric gate by carrying a wireless RFID sensor. This experiment shows Robito's potential in completing simple tasks in places that are inaccessible to humans. We also conducted an outdoor locomotion experiment. The power and control autonomy enables Robito to operate in a non-laboratory environment without any external dependency, which highlights its potential functionality in multiple scenarios. The methods presented here provide us with a new technological paradigm for creating a new diverse generation of fully autonomous microrobots in the future.